Hi guys, today we're going to talk about when to take your vitamins. I had this question come up multiple times. When do I take supplements? And so I just gonna, I'm just going to create this video to explain when to take them. It's kind of a minor point when to take them. It's not a major thing except for a couple little things. They'll still work, but this will help optimize it a little bit. And by the way, when you're taking supplements, um, it's not going to affect your ketosis. It's not going to break intermittent fasting, okay? As an FYI. So I just did two videos in one, by the way. Okay, vitamin B complex or vitamin C, you can take that anytime. These are mainly water soluble, except for like the fat soluble B1, that's called benfotamine. You'd want to take that with food or fat to help it be absorbed. And then you have fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, and K or K2. Um, these are better digested with food or fat. But let's say, for example, in the morning, you have the bulletproof coffee, you have a little fat in your coffee. Well, you can definitely take these then because that fat will help the absorption. Okay. And by the way, when you're taking uh, D3 and K2 uh, to remove excess calcium from the body, whether it is a kidney stone or calcium in the arteries or calcium in the joint or whatever, um, you don't want to be taking dairy with that. Okay. So you want to eliminate dairy because you don't want that extra calcium. You want to kind of create a, uh, a void of calcium. So this will just suck it right out of the soft tissue. All right. Now, when dealing with the stomach, you have various uh, things. You have stomach acidifiers, betaine hydrochloride. You have apple cider vinegar pills, for example. Um, take those just before the meal. Now, if you're taking apple cider vinegar in a liquid with water, you can pretty much just take that anytime. It's not going to be an issue. But if you're taking concentrated pills, take it just before you eat. Uh, if you're taking enzymes, just before you eat. If you're taking purified bile salts, because the gallbladder uh, needs support, I would recommend taking that after because this is alkaline. So if we take this before, we kind of neutralize or decrease the stomach acids. We don't want to do that. After, before, and before. Now, if you're taking a greens product, you know, a lot of people take these in the morning. It's totally fine. If you want to try and experiment and get a little more absorption out of that, um, you can take that with a meal or even around your Bulletproof coffee because you have some fat in there. One of the main phytonutrients, carotenoids, is fat soluble. And chlorophyll is fat soluble as well. So if you add a little fat or take this with a meal, you can extract more of those phytonutrients from that. It's a minor point, but I just wanted to bring it up. Okay, herbs. There's a lot of different herbal remedies. You can take those anytime. Tea, you could take it anytime, herbal tea. Electrolytes. They work a little better on an empty stomach because you have more acid. Minerals need acid to absorb. So anytime you're taking a, uh, like calcium carbonate, for example, which is alkaline, that's going to take the acid out of the body. So you wouldn't want to take your calcium, or I'm not recommending taking calcium carbonate, but you wouldn't want to take calcium in general uh, right before a meal because you'll dilute the stomach acid. So if you're taking calcium, take it right before going to bed. Okay. But electrolytes, empty stomach works great. But again, if you want to take it before your meals, go for it. It's going to be a minor point. It's really mainly for those people that don't have enough stomach acid uh, and they can have a problem absorbing uh, that as well. Probiotic, okay? You want to take your probiotics right before bed. Oh, and I did forget about one uh, uh, supplement called EDTA. It's a chelator. Or if you're taking IP6, it's another chelator. When you're taking chelators, you want to take those on an empty stomach. You don't want to take minerals with them. Okay, so wait an hour and a half before you take a chelator as far as eating goes or taking any of those supplements. And then don't take your mineral supplements for an hour and a half. Let that chelator go through and pull out whatever you're trying to pull out, like heavy metals or iron. And then you can take the minerals that you want and put those bit back in at other times. So empty stomach on the chelators. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.